Hi, my name is Ilma, and today I'd like to share John 5, 30 to 33. I can do nothing on my own. I can do nothing on my own initiative. As I hear, I judge. And my judgment is just, because I do not seek my own will, but the will of Him who sent me. If I alone testify about myself, my testimony is not true. There is another who testifies of me, and I know that the testimony which he gives about me is true. You have sent to John, and he has testified to the truth. But the testimony which I receive is not from man, but I say these things so that you may be saved. He was the lamp that was burning and was shining and you were willing to rejoice for a while in his light. John 5, 30 to 33. Jesus reveals his true nature in these following verses. He is God, and yet in his reply to the Jews, it manifests his obedience and great dependence on his own Father. He declares his reliance on his Heavenly Father. He doesn't operate on his own. He doesn't follow his own will, though he can easily do that since he has equality with God the Father. His Father completes him. In verse 32, he mentions that God himself testifies to him and that, it, and that is the truth. He got divine testimony and yet it was so difficult for the Jewish leaders to accept what he was revealing to them. How often do we rely on God? Do we consult the Lord for little and big things that we do? Do we care to find out why uh, His will by reading the Word and obeying and following God's commands? Do we make snap decisions without even thinking if it aligns with God's truth? Sadly, even many Christians fall in, fail in obedience and humility and prioritizing God uh, and prioritizing God's will in their lives. We live selfish lives that make us all forget what is important in our lives. We operate in autopilot, which means that we serve ourselves first automatically instead of serving and praising God first. When we want something, we don't even pray over it or check whether God will approve of our request and if it lines up with his word. In this statement of Jesus, we see clearly a picture of someone who prioritizes his Father in all things. He abides in him, that's why God abides in the Son. They are inseparable, intertwined, and one. This is how God wants us to be with the body of Christ, in unity and harmony. It is the love that God has for His Son and Jesus' love for the Father that bonds them together. It is the act of humility and obedience that proves Jesus' love for His Heavenly Father. Are we able to do the same to our Abba Father? Reflection. What happens to a Christian who operates on his own and never consults God. Sometimes God leave them, leaves them alone. So when that happens, we should be afraid because when God has left you alone, that means that he has allowed all your false knowledge, all your all your self-seeking uh, will to do what it needs to do for you. So <clears throat> remember the story of the Israelites when God was silent with them for about 400 years. Because God has been very patient with them for many, many years, and yet He delivers them, He gives them everything they need, and yet they complain, and yet they... They do not praise Him, they do not honor Him, they do not rely on Him, they do their own thing. So God has left them 
to to for all their idol worship God has left them for all the things that uh, they were doing for themselves so shouldn't we be scared if God is quiet with us because in his word it says that he loves that he disciplines those he loves so if he has stopped disciplining us that means that he might that we might have done something to lose our um, to lose our standing our right standing with God so it's important that we always acknowledge God that we are always abiding in him and that we are always us uh, seeking him seeking his word and following it thanks for watching i hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for my artworks and photographs and also for a copy of this video i'd like you to subscribe to my channel so i can do more videos for the lord thanks for watching and god bless